what's going on YouTube I'm right, back at it again here uh, I had put put in this motor here a brand new motor um, I didn't get a chance to film it it was kind of a little tough well I had to put a uh, chain fall up there on that beam I put my come along over here and kind of got that motor up and sat right in place uh, I think this motor weighs 467 pounds it's a 30 horsepower motor so what we got to do is uh, we got to wire it up and I uh, got to do alignment. So I'm going to do alignment first on this thing here and uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to let you guys kind of see how I do it here and uh, uh, let me get started. So I, I didn't have my straight edge, but I had this little ruler. As you guys can see, that's quite a bit off. So I'll start with this first and then I'll move on to my dial indicator here. But let me get set up. I'm going to raise this up a little bit, put the original shins back on there. Actually, I'm going to put some new shims on there and uh, raise it up some and then uh, we'll go from there. So I'll, I'll get right back to you guys. Alright guys, so I got the motor set. I uh, got my shims in there. You guys can see. Uh, all new shims. Uh, I think I put a 75, a, uh, a 10 and a 3 on that side. And I think this was a 75 and a 3 on this side over here. Something like that. I can't remember exactly. But uh, anyhow, uh, I got it uh, lined up exactly where I need to be. I looked at the manual for this coupling here and uh, looked at the uh, tolerance and requirement here. But let me just show you guys here. So I'm going to put my dial indicator on there. So just give me a second here. So we're going to zero this thing out here. Alright, so we're at zero. Down there. And I'm all within almost 5,000. It's all the way around. We still at zero. I'm within 5,000 there. Not sure if you guys can see it. I got my mirror somewhere here, but uh, um, yeah, and then let's go back. And I already did it. So I set this down to zero here. Now I got my mirror somewhere around here, but. Anyways, I'm within 5,000, so I'm happy. That's well within their uh, coupling requirement. So, uh, like I said, first I did it with my with this ruler here. That's all I had with me. Made sure we're nice and straight. As straight as I can be. It was kind of a little difficult because that piece of metal up here is a little higher, so it was a little difficult to do. But I try to kind of eyeball it and get it as straight as I can with the ruler. And then, uh, and then I went ahead and threw the dial indicator in there and uh got it all within where it needs to be there so uh yeah i, I need to get a different setup i want to get that uh scarlet with the larger and more things on there but i don't really do too many pump alignments so i'm not going to spend too much money on it but uh anyways this works for me for now so uh like i said i, I went ahead and did it angler parallel everything's within five uh five thousand so uh we're good man uh i'm gonna go ahead and about to turn this thing on here i just uh finished wiring it up i have to check rotation on it but i think i got it right so i just kind of went and marked the wires before i removed this motor and uh put it back so we're gonna run this here in just a little bit i'm gonna clean up a little bit and then uh turn it on check rotation and all that good stuff and i'll get back to you guys all right guys so uh, pump's running everything's nice and smooth nice and quiet uh running pretty nice and smooth uh this is rated at a 460 volt uh 35 
35.1 amps, we're running at 25, 26.1, 25.5, 25, we're doing pretty good there. Oh, uh, a lot of old trash over here somewhere, but we're gonna get that all out of the way. Clean up a little bit. We're gonna put that guard back on. Well, too. But, uh, yeah, she's running, running really nice. Uh, put new bolts as well too. Uh, they have some real. I don't know where that came from. That looks a little too short. But uh, oh, this came from the uh, for the guard. But uh, they have some other bolts on there that I didn't really like. Uh, anyway, they're somewhere there, but uh, yeah, they have some that were real short. I mean, uh, real thin. I think they had like one that was like, I mean, these are 3 8 which fit that hole perfectly. Uh, I went ahead and put lock washers and all that stuff down there, but they have one that was uh, like 5 16 in there. Yeah, it was kind of uh, junky. So anyhow, got it all new. We're all set. I got these towers here. Uh, I just replaced another motor. Actually, I'll take you guys up there real quick and show y'all another motor I replaced on this tower here. But uh, anyhow, let me uh, finish up with this motor. Put the guard back on. We'll close this one out. And I'm, I'm going to take you over there to that uh, other motor here and show you guys the work I did on that one there with another guy. So uh, I'll get back to it. All right, guys, so uh, this is that motor I replaced the other day here. It is a uh, WAG 20 horsepower motor for this cooling tower here. Um, not sure you guys can see that or not, but yeah, it's 20 horsepower, 460 volt. Uh, they also have that ball door. Looks like a ball door there. And then over there, they got a Dayton. And on the other side, they got a wake that I replaced a while back. Uh, but that Dayton there is uh, is the wrong motor for this tower. It's not the uh, those motors are not rated for cooling towers, and uh, they do not have grounding rings, so they're not rated for uh, to be on a drive. But this here is a uh, W22 cooling tower motor, and it's also inverter ready. So. Uh, so this motor is an inverter duty motor. So yeah, this motor is made for this application here. So uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, that's about it uh, for over here. I'm, I'm still waiting on that pump to come in. I'm going to shoot a video on that pump whenever that comes in. Uh, I just got word that that pump had uh, some bearing damage on it. And uh, I'll have to, I mean some uh, shaft damage on it from the bearing. So it's going to need some machine work. So once that comes in, I'll be sure to uh, keep you guys posted and, and uh, see how we make out over there. So anyhow, I'm going to finish up over here, uh, clean up, and then I'll be out of here. But uh, I will wait till the next one, guys. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you guys like it, subscribe. And if uh, there's anything you guys want to see out there that I do, just uh, give me a holler and let me know. Thanks.